Hi guys, I've got a treat for you today. We're indulging in a seascape. This is a quick glimpse now and I'll show you at the end exactly how it turned out. So I'm using quite a small canvas today. It's a 10 by 8 inch base and I'm using abstract paint which is a blush colour. Um, it's almost skin tone but it was the colour I thought was nearest to sand. And I've got an iridescent gold, which is old gold by Pebio. And that's gonna make that dark sand colour in between the blush. And you see, I'm just putting enough gold on. From where I'm standing, the gold is really iridescent and really shining through. I'm loving the way these paints are coming together and again it's 50% paint and 50% Liquitex gloss medium tiny bit of water so I'm just going to blow this out once I put a bit of white in for a highlight and the white I'm using is from a mix pouring um, consistency and that's from Arteza or Arteza, depends how you say it. So just blowing out this lovely beach, which is going to be the bottom of the sea. Canvas design. And I can see some foamy white right at the top of the beach already where the sand is going to be going into the sea. You might see there I've got a bit of um, sea green on the canvas already. So now I've got some aquamarine blue, and this is by Dana Rowney. I'm just putting a little bit on the outside because I know this is going to mix with the sea green, the palo green, which is this one here. God, I love that colour. This mixes so well with sea green. I've got forest green. And now on top of that, I've got sea green. And they're all very, very subtle greens with a tiny bit of blue in them to the eye. Okay, so I'm highlighting now with some white. I find the whole the whole thing comes together when you really take the time to mix the paints and make them all of the same consistency. So I'm blowing this out now, really carefully, making sure that it doesn't go over too much of the edge. And I'm just picking up with a hairdryer from the white and blowing the white into the different greens. Oh. Ah, this little cell is arriving already in this one. Beautiful. And some deep, in that really deep sort of green that you get in the middle of the sea when you've got seaweed. So, oh, it looks absolutely stunning. In fact, I'm, I'll put a bit more on there now. Right. A little bit of sea green on top of it. Just love those two together. A little bit of white, just for highlighting. and gently blow that out on the lowest measure that you can in your hair dryer. This is a 1500 watt. Oh, I'm loving this way, the, the waves are dancing here. I can see there's just a few little cells and they almost look like pebbles and rocks on the beach. I'll give you a close up in a minute. So you can appreciate the colours together. So I'm just using my palette knife and I am picking up very, very small amounts of white and allowing them to form a curve just to give it that dancing look of the wave. And a few more here. The greens together are just gorgeous.
Can you see there's movement that's giving that little squiggle with a white in little groups together just gives you that little dance of the wave. I went in for a swim this morning actually, it really reminds me of the gorgeous sea that we have. We're so lucky aren't we with our oceans. Okay so I'm finishing off now, I just did a bit of a swipe down the bottom because I saw some bits in the beach that I would like to follow the sort of pattern of the sea that comes in and takes the sea away and forms those patterns almost like a snake has been through it have you ever seen that in the beach it's like there are snake indentations <laughs> in the sand so a couple of air bubbles just getting rid of those now I'm just checking all around the sides to make sure it's okay. And I'm just wondering if I need to do anything else to it now. What do you think? Yeah, just one more. Just one more. Little squig with a wave. It's got movement throughout the whole thing now. So what sort of colours would you use to do a C? Um, would you like to try different greens together or blues? What's your idea of what colour the C is? Now I'm going to do a bit of flicking of white now on a toothbrush that I use. I love this toothbrush. It's made of a really nice material that you can just dip in and paint, touch the paint and just wipe off straight away. Um, and the, the head of it washes off so easily. I'll get the name of it later if, you, if you're interested. Um, but I just use a toothbrush, the same toothbrush, all the time to do my spraying. And that's just dipped very, very lightly in the white paint and flicked. I've really enjoyed doing this painting today. It came together so easily once I started and don't you just love it when a paint comes together really easily. So thank you so much for being here today. I've now got the close up and I am going to let you have a really good look at those waves. What do you think of the colours together? The gold and the blush pink and the three different greens. Happy painting everybody, thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you very soon, bye.